Pati bang helio? Yeah. Dayo, ti may paikyan ka o Kristo ang tibatayon. Sakbay mo na po iti panakaibura iti bang helio. Hintay man kanta na po iti Holy Family. O come, all you faithful, the chorus part. O oh, come, O oh, ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. O oh, come, ye, O oh, come, ye to Bethlehem. Come and be holy, born the King of angels. Oh, Itagal daw po kaya tinderang bakan iti fiesta ti Sagrada Familia. Itaya po pa sa iti tinasantuan ng misa, iti pa nakasindi, iti kandila, iti daton tayo. Nga mukha, we have lighted our candles, we offer to the baby Jesus and to the Holy Family, whispering our prayers, especially for our family. Kapsat, iti day to iti nga pa nag-fiesta iti Sagrada Familia, Ken iti makagapo na aping I let you sing this meaningful and beautiful song of Christmas because we must be celebrating the eighth day of Christmas. Let us greet one another. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Dito iti apoy, iti kinapod nun na nga ti Christmas kit kuna tayo on midnight onward to the Feast of Epiphany. Amen. That is why there is what we call the 12th day of Christmas, and we have the octave of Christmas, the eighth day of Christmas. That is why parang sa araw ng Pasko, you have to count like what you're going to do each day of the Christmas season. Nagbintas mo na po, tati na ito ay nga umuna, dahit ito umuna nga Domingo, the first Sunday of Christmas, and it is the Holy Family Sunday. Nagpintas man, gapuanan ta, da ito'y holy family. Iturong na tayo man ako, iti dua. Let us take a look into our family. And the best university and the best school in the world is our family. Amen? Amen. And the best parents, the best teachers in the world are our parents. Kung sino po tayo ngayon, kung anong meron po tayo ngayon, what we have and who we are is because of our family. Nahubog po tayo na ating pamilya. What we are and who we are is because of our family. And we know that we cannot give what we do not have. Hantimitid dawan ka na tayo. Kaya't nagiting at nakada tayo, awan sa bali, tinangitid kada tayo, kaya't tibukod tayo a familia. And the face of the Holy Family would bring us to this. That let us acknowledge that what we have and who we are is because of our own family. And we know, my dear brothers and sisters, that aside from the family that we have, is we have the Holy Family, our Lord Jesus Christ, the baby Jesus, Joseph and Mary. And this Holy Family would also remind us on how we have to live as a Christian family. Ang bumubuo po sa atin ay ang ating pamilya. What makes us complete is our family. Amen? Amen. And, and we know that what makes us fulfilled, there is always a certain kind of fulfillment because of our family. What defines us is our family. And what challenges us is our family too. 
which means our family is all. Lahat, no? The reason of all. Our family gives us meaning, gives us a sense of purpose. Our family is our backbone, so to say, our pillar, the very foundation of our person is our family. That is why napakahalaga po ang ating pamilya. Ito po yung pinakamahalagang biyayang pinagkaloob ng Diyos sa atin. And on this feast day of the Holy Family, we are brought to realize of this great blessing that we have in our family. Whether we like it or not, we can never be complete. We can never be happy. There will be no sense of what we call authentic happiness, meaning and purpose, without our family. Kaya nga po, babalik at babalik po tayo kung tayo, saan po tayo nagmula. Babalik at lilingon po tayo kung saan tayo nang galing. At ikit sa lahat, yayakapin natin kung saan man tayo nang galing. Dahil ito po yung bubuo sa atin kung sino po tayo. Siya ang dahilan na nagbibigay ng kahulugan lahat ng ating mga ginagawa. But you see, my dear brothers and sisters, that on this fifth day of the Holy Family, will also bring us to realize that we may not be perfect as one family. There, may, there, there, there might be flaws and inconsistencies. There might be imperfections. There, mar, there might be arguments. But you see that the Holy Family, the family of Joseph, Mary and Jesus would bring us again to live after their example. What makes the family of Jesus, Mary and Joseph, holy? First, because their family is nourished by their prayers, by faith by their relationship with God. Secondly, their family is holy because their family is nourished by this genuine love and care that they have for one another. Their family is holy because their family is nourished by humility. The humility of Mary the humbleness of Joseph and the great humility of Jesus. The family is made holy because of their generosity of giving themselves in the service and fulfilling the mission of God. This family is made holy because of this what we call understanding and also openness and most especially the patience and understanding that we have in which we see these are virtues and these are also what we're being asked to live with so that our family also be blessed the feast of the holy family Reminding couples and family members, especially couples, that your life as husband and wife must be centered on to the word, nourished by faith in your prayers. You have asked God to bless you. You have received the sacrament of matrimony. And the sacrament of matrimony is reminding you that you have received the sacrament of marriage. And you made a covenant with God. And that you make a promise that you're going to build your home, a Christian home. As you live as Christian family, a Christian couple, a Christian husband, and a Christian wife, and a Christian children. In which we see in here that the gospel today brings us again 
into the search of the of the child Jesus. Napukaw na po Jesus. Dagiti naganak ni Maria Kinose ipagpagarok da nga simuro ten itubeng na ikuyog kadakwana. Ngem nagbati ni Jesus iti templo. Iti tanual daw binirbirok day suna. Ket ti may katlungal daw nasarakan da ni Jesus. Iti templo. Kuna ni Maria, anak ko, apay nga naramid mo dahi tayo kada kami. Ano yan unay, tidanag mi kiniamaw. Ngayon ti sumbat ni Jesus, apay aya, binirbirok dak. Di yung kadi, amo, amasapol nga daak ti balay ni amak. The sacrament of matrimony is a covenant with God in which couple you have made a promise that you're going to entrust your family to God, sustained by your faith and prayers, and most especially entrusting your family to God. Sa panahon po ngayon, hindi po natin magpagkakaila na marami pong pinagdaraanan ng mga pamilya. Amen? Laging nag-aaway siguro, hindi nagkakunawaan, lalong-lalo na when poverty knocks at your door. Because of this hardship, difficult living condition, when hindi mo alam kung ano yung, no, what will be next, or do you have something to provide in your table for your children? And a lot of more, not only poverty that causes this is what we call disintegration of families. But there are a lot of reasons why, because of this pandemic, triggered by this pandemic. And there are a lot of marital problems that we can hear. And sometimes, couples, they don't know why. They don't know what will be the answer to their problems. In a way, they have been lost to where to get answers to their questions and problems. But in humility, we are being acknowledged, we acknowledge today that let us not forget to go back again to God. Let us go back again to the very first promise that you made when you received the sacrament of matrimony. When you ask God to bless you, Perhaps you have not been asking God to guide and bless you. And at times, at difficult moments, in this time of, of, of pandemic, where there are a lot of problems encountered by the couples, by the families, let us always go back. In time ay nagsubli, kena po Diyos. In time ay kararag, kena po Diyos. Gapuanan tati pa nagkararag tagasawa na bilig ang mga idaldalan kinmang lawlawag ti panpanunot. Nagkararag tagasawa kas kinitubiyas kinisara. Nga ang daaglangan nagkararag tirabii nagyaman ti Diyos nagiti parabor kinpasama kiti biyagda. I think this is an invitation for all families, especially for all couples, that facing this great difficulty of our time, this pandemic, COVID-19, we may be saying that we cannot solve problems, but on bended knees, and when we pray as a couple, and when we pray as a family, we know that things are getting clearer and we may be getting answers. And we are being led by Jesus, by God. My dear brothers and sisters, let us make our family holy, nourished by our faith and prayers. Once again, couples, let us go back to the humility that you have 
and the understanding and patient understanding that you should have. And especially the generous self-giving and openness of the blessings of God upon you. Ito po yung lagi pong sinasabi that the long-lasting relationship of the husband and wife and the very reason why a relationship lasts long is that putting God as the center of their family and making God as the center of their life. Let us be inspired by the Holy Family. Let us once again go back to God, to Jesus. And may the blessings of this Holy Family, and the blessing of humility, the blessing of generosity, and the blessing of joy and peace and love be upon all families. Amen. Tumak